estimate it weighs probably about 30,000 pounds at the moment. The harvester holds four sets of robots on four RPCs, so 16 robots, and it actually moves through the field self-navigating. Obviously it's an autonomous vehicle, so it, can, it manages it itself. We've done the punching at the, before the season begins. We've, we've captured all those GPS coordinates, and all those GPS coordinates equate to a plan. So right now, we are sending the, the machine over to plants. As we go over the plants, the, ro the robot will do a full rotation of each plant. We'll then go back and decide its pick path for each of those plants. Slide our system pieces in the correct pathway. These are the claws that we use. They they grab the berries. pick we have these four lights these are all so four lights two for each camera underneath it's 20 LEDs per board so we have 40 LEDs per robot it's a lot of light so I can actually turn the lights on they get quite bright and then they light up the bed and so we have each robot doing that on a massive power draw for the system This is the next step in the system. The berry is removed from the claw and it gets transferred into what we call the dumper. Its main goal is to hold the berries while the robot is spinning. The final step before it reaches the harvester, this will open up. This slides up and down, comes into place, and then at this stage, um, the dumper will open up and release the berries into the bucket. The transportation mechanism that takes that strawberry and takes it up to a secondary inspection station. Above, you only see half the strawberry, so we have to inspect the rest of the strawberry. Make sure the whole strawberry is okay. Once we've determined the ripeness is okay, it's graded, it's then transferred into a packaging mechanism where it's packed out. Robot 2 is having technical issues, so we're not running with it today, so we have a disabled red. And it's a 
very technically challenging complex problem and whereas we've now got I believe all the mechanical issues. I'm not really looking, I'm listening. So a lot of these robots, because they're moving so fast, you'll find a lot more problems by trying to listen and trying to see what causes the problem and it lets me determine this is where I need to be looking because I know this will be making these type of sounds. So I heard the wheel hit something that's not supposed to, so I'm trying to see if it's repeatable or if it's a once in a time, once happens once, you won't repeat itself. You're constantly perfecting the algorithms and the vision systems to actually get higher and higher clearance. If you look into them, you're not going to be happy. It messes up your eyes. But we have diffusers on them, so it spreads out the light so it's not as concentrated. We can pick at night, we can pick at day. If we wanted to pick 24 hours, we can do that. Set up a pick path so it will go down to the next set of rows that are on the order, and it works it into sort of some sort of a corkscrew type pattern. so far. The mechanical capacity of the harvester is approximately about 300 to 400,000 strawberries a day. We've been approached by Australian and uh, European, particularly Germany and in Spain, for our solution to be moved over there.